begun construction of the intern village. We use a lot of reclaimed materials, reclaimed tiles. The clay is all from the site and from the local area. We've dug it up from people's properties and brought it here. We're constantly trying to reuse materials. We had a big, wonderful wine tasting area. Of course, we live in Mendocino County in the wine country. And rather than recycle the bottles, we saved them. When we build one of the walls of the bathhouse, we're going to be embedding all of the wine bottles in that wall. Old new knowledge. If you travel down in Mexico, for example, they make great use of bottles in construction. So in a lot of cases, there's nothing really new under the sun. Here we've got a pile of broken concrete. Now broken concrete is a common material found throughout urban areas. A lot of demolition, deconstruction goes on. We don't like to think of it as a waste material. We like to think of it as a resource. We call it urbanite. Urbanite is the most plentiful form of stone available on the planet today. And rather than blasting open mountains and gouging out cliffs and creating new holes in the ground to mine rock and stone, uh, why not take advantage of a resource that's right there in your neighborhood, which we use to build foundations and bases. The intern village sits hard on Highway 101, so we wanted to provide both some privacy and some sound protection. This entire wall is constructed out of straw bales. This is a bench made out of material called cob. Uh, it's basically another form of mud construction. Here we can see some of the cob actually being mixed. You can see we're mixing straw with the clay and water. This is an ancient technique. I lived in Iran for a while. I do remember seeing the women out in front of their houses hand mixing. We're combining the latest in new technology with the best in old traditional knowledge. Anything yeah. that you can imagine can be built using natural materials. This is non-toxic, it's healthy, and anybody can do it. It's something you can easily do in your own yard. I'm not saying everyone needs to go out and build a cob home, but I'm saying that this is one piece of the puzzle. Just like with green building, there need to be many different approaches and many different solutions.